Welcome to this episode of Addicted Fishing. We're in my backyard once again, Mosquito Lagoon. Water's a little dingy, but we're gonna show you some redfish and hopefully some big trout today. We got Captain Travis Tanner. Y'all remember Captain Travis from the FLW days, my old fishing partner. We're gonna see if we can show you some big reds from Mosquito Lagoon today. Y'all stay tuned to this episode of Addicted Fishing. We're gonna do it. Oh, there's one just came up on a fish. A mullet right here at one o'clock, 12.30, one o'clock, Blair. Up tighter to the bank. Yep, right in there. He just came up on a mullet. How far? Uh, I don't know, he's up there about 30 yards. Ooh, buddy. Pretty darn close there, son. Come on, baby, eat it. Fish on. Is that the one you saw? I think that might be the smaller one. The smaller one? <laughs> <laughs> Kind of funny. Fighting kind of funny. If you don't know he's hooked yet. Ain't no catfish, is it? Oh, these fish don't know they're hooked ever, dude. Well, he just figured it out. Something's up with him. Yeah, that fish can't see in this darker colored water, so they go crazy when they see the boat. When they finally see what's bringing them <laughs> yeah, to yeah. one way. They're like, man, this current's strong today. <laughs> you sure that's not just when they get a good look at you, right? Well, that might be, Blair. <laughs> They can't see anything. Man, I guess that brown color in the water is giving them that nice red color too, huh? Yeah, they go crazy, man, when they see the boat. They don't hardly fight at all until they get up next to the boat. Yes, sir. That's a little gold one. I think I can get him up here, no problem. Hey, nice shot there, Blair. Put it right where it needed to be. Do you think the tail you saw was a little bigger, huh? Yeah, it's definitely not that one. Ouch. You got me. Little redfish, mosquito lagoon, and like I say, little redfish. <laughs> well, think we're gonna stay right here? Yeah, we're gonna stay here for a minute, yeah. All right, let me quit bleeding. We'll be right back with Captain Travis Tanner right here in Mosquito Lagoon. That's what we were waiting for, waiting for him to bleed, baby. <laughs> <laughs> when this wind picked up like it is, sun's getting a little higher, moved out this bar here in a little deeper water, see if we can Get us a big fish. A big fish, that's the name of the game, right? Getting them to the boat. You're gonna choke that thing or you're gonna just dry it out? Well, I like for it to stick on the hook a little better, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you always catch more fish when you got a bait in the water. That's what I always say. That's what my dad always says, too. Well, your dad's a smart man. <laughs> he also says, don't leave fish to find fish. And hey, Bill. <laughs> uh. Get him, son! You finally got one at eight, huh? Why don't you take this rod, because I don't want to get down. I want to keep looking for him, seeing if I can keep my eyes on him. I can do that. A grown one, huh? He's a grown one, son! He's a grown one! <laughs> you got enough line on there? Oh, uh, I don't know. He's about got all that 150 yards of this uh, smack down off of here. Well, welcome back, folks. We've uh, changed positions from up on the bank over there. Captain Travis said he had some fish sitting out here on the uh, middle bar, so we come out to the middle bar. We renamed the middle bar the middle bar, so y'all don't know where we're at. But, <laughs> but there are some grown redfish sitting here. It's exactly what you come to the Space Coast for these big giant redfish. They live in Mosquito Lagoon, Indian River, and Banana River. And if y'all have heard any of the reports going on, we've had some uh, had some algae blooms lately. But as you can see, the fish are still here. You just got to be a little bit more patient with them, work a little slower, and uh, change your technique a little bit too. Yeah, definitely change your technique. We're using cut lady fish right now. As you can see, it's windy. Uh, like I said, the conditions in the algae bloom, it's you can't see hardly three inches in the water right now. I think it was a good call to change our technique a little bit, Blair, because uh, with this wind blowing in and just with the conditions we have with the water right now, with the, the bloom going on, it's just been the most effective way to catch them. Hey, you got to do what you got to do to catch them, right? That's it. It's actually the first time I've ever chunked ladyfish for them. It works. It works. I've heard about it for years. I've done, you know, soaked half mullet and stuff for them before when right. it gets like this. I think they got on a good one there, buddy. I believe so. 
Let's get him in here and make him a star. <laughs> he loves me. He loves me. <laughs> I remember that. What show is that? Black Drum, baby. That's it, the Black Drum, baby. Oh, this one is a grown one, bro. This might be double slot. Double slot, I'd like to see it. With the way this one's pulling, this might be my biggest one from Mosquito Lagoon. Woo, that's a big one. That's a walrus. A Mogan walrus. <laughs> I never get tired of catching these big fish. They're powerful, man. And I still get nervous when they're this close to the boat. Ooh. That's why he was fighting so good, that hook got him in the bottom jaw. All right. Got to do a plug for the old trocar. Uh, that old trocar did its job. All it had to do was touch that fish. Oh, I know. An Indian River Mogan walrus, brother. Set him up there on that beaver tail deck. Oh, man, he's heavy. Well, I hope so with a head that size. <laughs> that is one fatty right there. That Look is, at the girth on that, that thing. His head, dude. If y'all come up and see me at any of the Dick's Grand Openings, here's my hand. That's how big that redfish is. Come up and see how big my hand is. You can see how big that redfish is. Wow. That one. Nice one. Trocar hook. That's the big nasty. Got the job done. Let's get a good one. Oh, that's a heavy one there, Trev. That's a good one, brother. Nice fish. Nice. All right, brother, let's get this big boy back in the water. There you go. Or this big girl. Let's let somebody else catch him. Oh. Or her. Man, oh man. I say I will never get tired of these fish. She's about ready. Man, that's kind of nice not doing the reviving. <laughs> Travis, nice once job, again, brother. if y'all ever get a chance to come to the Space Coast, Come fish with Captain Travis Tanner. You see, there is nobody else on the water. They're all scared about the, the, the tide and all the algae bloom. Come get with Captain Travis. He still knows where they live and they're still big. Stay tuned. We're going to be right back with some Mesquite Lagoon, Captain Travis Tanner, and hopefully another great big redfish. There you go. Yeah, baby. <laughs> nice job, brother. Dang, son. Thank God. Kind of looking like Whitewater Bay right now, ain't it, Travis? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> you know, this wind actually works to our advantage right now, Blair, because it gets these fish moving around, gets that chum slick spread out down the way there. And if it's flat calm, don't even try it. Yeah, the only current here is wind current, and it pushes whichever way the wind's going. <laughs> Let me tell you about the rigs we got set up here. Travis has got a 7.6 back there. I got a 7.2 and a 7.6, both inshore. Uh, Flats Blue Wright McGill's. Uh, this one's rigged up with a 3,000. Both of them are 3,000s, and that one's a 3,500 on the back. But uh, the reason I chose those is there's not a redfish that swims in the Indian River, Banana River, Mosquito Lagoon that you can't catch on one of these rods right here on an open flat. But light tackle on flats where you're not going to get busted off by anything makes it a lot of fun. Simple redfish setup. Or catfish setup, or... <laughs> <laughs> there he is. You got him, brother. Uh oh. <laughs> Good job. Oh, you ain't got one on that one, too, do you? Oh, I thought I did for a second. <laughs> Yeah, brother. It works, doesn't it? Works like a champ. <laughs> well, welcome back. We've changed positions now. The wind has absolutely kicked up using uh, Captain Travis's secret, uh, secret method of catching fish. You're going to have to book him to figure out what it is. <laughs> Thought you said there are only teenagers around here. They're good size fighting teenagers, man. Yeah, Let's get man. the double. Seen that fish tail up on it, I was like, oh! <laughs> it's so nice when a plan comes together, ain't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, that's a beautiful fish. Look at the red color on him. Yeah, look, you see how red they are, man? It's amazing, man. When you get in the right spot, dude, it just 
You can catch them. I'm gonna have to walk back up to the front. Let me get this one out of your way. Nice fish. That ain't no teenager. That's a nice fish. That ain't no teenager. I'll do it. Uh oh. Come back this way. That is one pumpkin right there. That it almost is. looks like Louisiana fish. That is a pumpkin. Ooh, that's only 20 pounds on there. Come here, dude. That's a pretty fish. Y that is a beauty. What do y'all see this guy? Ugh. Gorgeous. Look at the color at on the that color thing, on man. That Golly. That is a beautiful fish. Barely hooked. Did the job. Y'all look at how pretty that fish is. I'll put him in the sun. As long as my arm, actually longer than my arm, that's a good one. That's a pretty one, brother. Here, you want to let him go? Yes, sir. I'd that's one to. of the most golden red fish I've ever seen. That almost looks like a Louisiana fish, yes, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Beauty! Yes, it does. Thank you. <laughs> Give him a little, little love tap. There he goes. Off to fight another day, brother. Yes, sir. That is awesome. Y'all ever get a chance to come to Space Coast, make sure you book Captain Travis because he will put you on a fish. As you can see, our conditions, the wind has just picked up like, what, 15, 20 miles an hour? Yeah. It's about all you can do right now to catch fish on the flat. So that's what we be doing. Y'all stay tuned. We're going to be right back with some more addictive fishing. Ooh, see that? You get some big trout up in here. That sound like something eating there, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, welcome back, folks. Still fishing with Captain Travis Tanner on the back back there, pushing us around. And uh, we've come up to the north end now. It was a little bit nasty down in the south end. Water's a little bit cleaner up this way. We're going to see what we can do. So y'all keep your eyes peeled to the television set or to your YouTube channel. Well, there's a fish pushing to the left there. Did you see him just push it? No, I didn't. You know, it's difficult whenever the sun goes in and out, in and out, because it doesn't give you time to really look in the water and read. Yeah, I also find that when the when you got it shaded and then light, shaded light, it spooks them off the flat. Mm -hmm. It's just like somebody sitting there with a flashlight at night over their heads like that. Oh, I think you need to go in that hole one more time, Blair. There? You got it. Come on, baby. Come on. Bite it. You got a fish on. <laughs> nice <Hey>. trout. <laughs> Dude, he was he ate it and I thought I had a fish on. And all the next thing I know, my my, my thing's swimming to me. My bait. And it's a nice big sea trout. A big old sea trout. Oh yes, sir. One of my favorites. That is about a grown trout there. That thing's fatter than it could be. It's a nice one, bro. That is a beauty. True core right through the top of the head. Look at that. Come here, dude. Ugh. Pretty fish. God, these things are so beautiful. Look at that. That's got to be the prettiest fish that swims right there in the Indian the River. So Absolute beautiful. beauty. Quite tasty too. Quite tasty. But this one here, we're gonna let go so y'all can come back and get him. Off he goes. Rig it right by Wright and Miguel. All right, folks, on today's bait check, we're gonna show you what Captain Travis and I were out there using. The Space Coast, what a great place to fish, Mosquito Lagoon expansive wide open flats it's all about yay deep and just one great place to fish was using the 7.2 inshore flats blue model and this one here i was using the 7.2 just because there's nothing out there on the flats really to, to snag you up you can use really really light stuff and have a good time catching those big fish had it rigged with 15 pound test seaguar and this is the smackdown i've been telling you all about super smooth 20 pound test seaguar fluorocarbon rigged with a uh, fg knot and uh, the big nasty. Now this hook right here is a trocar hook, so be very careful if you use these. That hook right there is one of the sharpest hooks I've ever used in my entire life. Getting the job done, we were using big chunks of ladyfish that Captain Travis had been out catching the day before because the water 
was pretty nasty out there. We got a brown algae bloom. Not much is being done about it right now, but hopefully soon something's gonna be done. I remember back in the 90s, back when I was guiding, there was so many clamors on the water. It was tough to even get a parking spot at the ramp at five o'clock in the morning, and they were taking millions and millions of clams out of the Indian River Lagoon system. And uh, a clam this big is gonna filter out 55 gallons of water a day, y'all. So get the clams back in there, and I'm sure we're gonna see a big improvement of the Indian River Lagoon system. Remember one thing, though? Every fishing season starts right at Dick's. Rig It Right by Wright and Miguel. Something's got my bait, Mr. Travis. Yeah. I think that's gonna about do it. Yeah. Well, we, <laughs> we've changed spots. We tried to show you another big red fish from Mosquito Lagoon, hitting all the potholes out here. About the only thing we can do with Mother Nature breathing down our necks like this is exactly what we did. And Travis said, let's try it. It worked. We showed you a great big red fish and one beautiful, Beautiful redfish, but uh, you know we did what we can do. What's your website? Mosquito-lagoon-fishing.com. Or just look up Captain Travis Tanner. Yeah, look up Captain Travis Tanner on Yahoo or <laughs> Google him. It'll definitely yeah. come up. There's a lot of dashes in there. <laughs> Don't forget about the website either, addictafishing.com. Instagram, hashtag show your mug, and we're picking out prizes for the best looking fish. Doesn't have to be a mogan. Just you know, send us a good looking fish. Hashtag show your mogan. That about covers it up, doesn't it? We want to say thanks to the Space Coast Office of Tourism as well, putting us up in Titusville. Tom Bartuzak, always a great guy to call. Appreciate it. Hey, man. Travis. It was a pleasure getting together with you and getting out on the water. Once again. See you next week. Check out more footage from this show by logging on to AddictedFishing.com for outtakes and bloopers. God, you know they're big when you hear that. Thump, 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 thump. I suppose that's why they call it the Space Coast. He's got it. Fish. Oh, you clean on the inside, mud on the outside. Popped it right in front of his intake valve. <laughs> <laughs> kitty, kitty. Meow.